Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, to begin with, the Australian dollar took a stab to the upside. As you can see, it broke above 80 cents and recorded a high of 80.20 before dropping back heavily to a low around 79 70 this morning with a low being 79.50 the market does look like it's found a rejection point there is bearish divergence there so clearly the bull trap has been set in my view and the fact is that the rejection from 80 could see further weakness in the coming session looking ahead today we have the release of the australian employment number which is forecasted at 13.2k in december the previous was higher at 61.6 it is viewed that another above forecast could post a further burst to, in momentum for the price in Australia, to the dollar that is, and although uh, 80.15 still expected to stand firm from the rejection this morning. Overnight, the Bank of Canada did raise interest rates by uh, 25 basis points to 1.25, and it is viewed that the RBA will soon start following suit with the Bank of England coming next in February. Well, the euro dollar overnight takes a stab to the upside also, like the Australian dollar, and posts an outside range day. Now, we do need further confirmation, but one thing to take note is that we got a long-legged doji, an outside range day, a break of 121.60 could see further weakness. 63 has been the low this morning. This in turn would open the way towards 120.80 as an objective. Like the Aussie, there is bearish divergence, so I do expect to see further weakness. Now, the dollar index did post a new low of 89.94, but has recovered slightly to around 90.25 this morning. Well, dollar yen took a stab to the downside, and as you can see, the market has clearly posted an outside range day. It is viewed that after the rebound from the lows of 110. 18 is the market's now poised to look towards 118 80, 85. A break above there would give further scope to the upside. We do need some confirmation though that uh, the bullish outside range day is supportive, but then saying that you can see the market did post a doji before and then the outside range day comes in next. So we did have some a little bit of hesitation towards the downside, therefore, I do expect to see a slightly bullish case. Now, unlike the other two euro and dollar yen is that so we didn't get a blow off uh, sorry i didn't get that outside range day for sterling but instead a blow off top from the rejection overnight the market is actually now looking for further weakness not as much as divergence in the pound as the other two markets but um nevertheless i still expect to see weakness towards 137 20 25 now that we've had a rejection from the top side so th the only thing that could actually put a bit of momentum back in the market is if the, we start pricing in a rate hike for February when the, the Bank of England meet. Well, the power as uh, this sorry, the gold took a very daring challenge to the upside and retested that level 1345. Now it was noted yesterday there was bearish divergence, and you can see from the rejection posted an outside range day. And also in terms could see further weakness towards 1324 or down to the level around 1312. The reason why I've lowered my forecast from yesterday is because of the technicals and also the price action given overnight. I do expect to see a re recovery from 12 and look back up towards the top side around 34 to 45. And to wrap up with oil, the market's still consolidating and still showing bearish indication that the, the price will not sustain from any rally now and looking back towards 62.60. So that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a great day that's ahead of you.